Next up was the visit of Fulham. For Villa, Thomas Sorensen was back in goal. Solano and Whittingham also returned to Villa's starting lineup. Still looking for his first Premiership goal this season, Norberto Solano. Will this be the moment that it arrives? Oh, yes, it will. A tremendous free kick from the Peruvian. And Aston Villa have the lead. De La Cruz, the sell. Diop missed time that one completely. Well, it's Vassell's first touch really let him down there, but he's getting to the ball before Diop. Diop comes through the back of him. And except for the conditions, I think that would have been a yellow card, Bill. I think sensible referee, he's given the free kick, but Darius Vassell looks like he's uh, hurt his ankle or, the, or his shin there. This is the incident again, it's his first touch takes it away, but Diop comes in from the side. Darius is getting there first, but he's gone down his ankle there. And you see him, he's stood on it, and then his ankle's gone right underneath, and then his other ankle's gone underneath as well. So that's a double blow for Darius to sell. Solano, Carlton Cole, Lee Hendry. Hendry goes for goal! His scoring streak just goes on and on. Lee Hendry with another sensational goal for Aston Villa, 2-0. And it's on his left foot again. But this is given away by Steve Malbronk in the corner near the touchline. Carlton Cole plays a lovely ball. Bendry takes it on his left foot, bends it in that far corner. Van der Sar, absolutely no chance. The defender doesn't get close enough to him that night here. Van der Sar can't see that, but what an exquisite finish that is from Lee Hendry. Right into the side netting on his left foot. Just direction, not a lot of power, but fantastic direction. And I think that's three points for the Villa. It was a joy to play in and everyone was bubbling during the game. And, you know, we just was very confident and we didn't feel like we could lose. And on the day we, we showed that we wasn't going to lose, really. Darius Vassell's injury subsequently turned out to be a broken ankle. He would be out until the end of February.